Hey hello, just before this video starts, real quick, this is a rough cut version. I was planning on doing this as a normal video just before the update, but it just so happens that the update is out now. So I gotta work on that video, I gotta get the 1 million pack opening out for you guys. I wouldn't want to disappoint you by waiting a bit, so I only have time to do a rough cut here. There won't be any deep diving uh, edits to cut out mistakes in my speaking like now. It would just be like big pauses I'll take out. So hope you still enjoy and I hope you watch the upcoming video because that one is gonna be amazing. So enjoy. Hey hello guys, it's here, it's finally, finally here. The wait is over, it's been a century, but it's here. The update is coming soon. So I guess it's not here yet, but it's soon to be, hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, they released the update notes, so let's go over them and see what is coming, what is changing. It's called the Japanese, it's called the Japan Pro Tour. It's PL14, and we're gonna have some new cars. First of all, here we get, we're told that we'll get some new Nissan Infinity, Subaru, and Suzuki cars with a lovely picture of an Infinity right there. So we'll get some really fast ones. For instance, this 560 horsepower Infinity. 3.7 seconds that's gonna be great to have probably like a mm, RQ77 maybe 78 depending on the grip and maybe on it being medium or not I would suspect it being low since it's a, since it's a performance model but it is infinity and with the infinities we have in game you know they're all medium and with the infinities we have in game, we don't really have any basis for really fast ones. I think the quickest one is the price guy here, which in middle be is low, but still. How many horsepower does this one? I'm guessing 400, but let's just go check. No, it's a liar. It's just like that one fear. But anyway, it's going to be great to have a revamp of infinity because it's sort of lacking and it's mostly just for the wet. You have full drive, you have some standard tires, and I guess you have a bit of offer as well, but it's not really something exciting. Next off, we're gonna like, next off, we're gonna get some old Nissans and not just Skylines. They're saying, and not just TGRs. They, for instance, are talking about. They, for instance, here are talking about the. For instance, here they're talking about the. Uh, for instance, here they're talking about some Silvias. So that's gonna be really exciting. Love me some old Nissans. I will admit I'm not the biggest JDM and like old Japanese car enthusiast, but I'm so looking forward to learn because that's what you do in Top Edge, really. You sort of get a really good idea of how a lot of cars from a certain like section of brain or whatever compares to each other. So I'm looking forward to that. Moving on, we'll get Subaru, which is something I'm actually, which is something I'm so excited for. I love rallying. My dad was a rally driver. My uncle was a rally driver. He is a rally driver. And I've just always been into rallying, so seeing some more rally cars is gonna be great. These old Subarus are so iconic. This paint scheme, this blue paint scheme with the yellow letters, it's gonna be so great to have them. Or are they neon green? I have to tell. Have to tell. Then we'll, then we'll also be getting some more Suzuki's. We already have the insanely OP Pikes Peak that goes two one zero to sixty stuck. Two one zero to sixty stuck. Insane. 90 grip, 4 wheel drive, all surface tires. Why this one is not 100, I do not know. But still, this car is insane. And we'll get another packed speed car. Though this one should only have a me. <laughs> though this one should only have a measly 2.2 seconds zero to 60. So yeah, you know. Wonder why they even chose to race that one with such a zero to 60. Wonder why they even chose to race the car with such a high zero to 60. But anyway. These insane arrows just look so freaking cool. As they say, it's like 90% spoiler and splitter. <laughs> the arrow on these old Pikes Peak part, the arrow on these Pikes Peaks cars, also the modern ones like the Persio, it's just insane. Like these wings are comically big. <laughs> you, you can't, like, you can barely distinguish the original car, but this is just like pure performance because you don't have competition to. Think, you don't have competition to think about, you know, you don't have to care about whether your airflow is gonna get ruined or whether your splitter is fragile or something because you're hopefully not gonna hit anything. You have no competitions, it's just time to take you against the clock. Moving on though, we have some changes. So here we have something exciting, hopefully. So here we hopefully have something exciting. The inventory is gonna change. 
Rescale, that's not too exciting. Rental brand logo has been updated, yeah, fair enough. Nissan, same thing, add the ability to lock cars in the car selection screen, if that means what I think it means. Fine fucking Lee. So now we don't have to go out to the main screen and then go into my car to lock cars and just like do it from wherever. We've been missing that for so long and I have no idea why it wasn't a feature from the start. Quick side note. So that's gonna be fucking great. That's gonna be freaking great to have. So that's gonna be freaking great to have. The holding pool time will now actually reflect, reflect. Didn't do that before. The holding pool will now actually. The holding pool timer will now actually reflect the time left. Didn't it do that before? I've never noticed anything else. Oh, fair enough. Thanks for fixing it, I guess. The free Volkswagen Type 2 will quickly just take it as unpriced cards. Next up, we'll have some of those old Volkswagen depriced cars. That's gonna be so great. That's gonna free up so much space in my garage and in a lot of people's, in a lot of people's garages, and in a lot of people's garages. Just looking here, you can see how many uncommon price cars I have. These are like 90% of my price cars. They're 44 out of 81. That's insane. But yeah, fair enough. Thanks, Hutch. I know they're just used as tickets, and now you have actual tickets. So great of us, we can finally. So great of you, we can finally get rid of those. We can finally. Great, great initiative. We can. F great going on you guys. Great going on your. Great going on your end. We can finally get rid of those. Okay, so I've always what now the airfield slalom will be changed to mud instead of asphalt, and I've always wondered. It looks like it's off road, especially also when you go between like airfield, uh, when you go between like one race or something. It looks like that part should be off road, but it hasn't been. Great, so that's nice. And now we have, the, and then we have some balance changes. Let's see, seventy five. And then we have some balance changes. It looks like it's just like the point how it looks like it's just a point system like how they did it it looks like it's just a point system like how they tally up the points so it'll go a bit faster for some of these and a bit slower here for frozen, frozen slalom. To be fair some of those awful ones it did tick up so fast because even though we had the same percentage wise like difference in brown weight or something like in, in, in asphalt and ice but just because just even though like you had the two same cars going asphalt slalom or like uh, ice slalom the difference in points would be huge because even though it's percentage wise it's percentage wise it's the same difference time wise it would be a huge difference like maybe like half a second over here and like five seconds over here and points wise it would be such a huge loss over here compared to over here so that's great then we have some bug fixes these aren't that exciting yeah we just Basically, these are not like, so exciting. Yeah, some visual stuff, something for the campaign, some of the challenge. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna be nice. No more freezing. That's been annoying. Yeah, I hate that archer side. I hate how you hit it. I hope they fix that as well, like making it less sensitive or something. Yep, this one. This one. Fuck you. Yeah, visual again. Not too exciting. Minor localization fixes. Yeah, not big. Car corrections. That one's always fun. That one's always exciting. Let's go have a look and see if we can get. Let's go have a look and see if we have some rarity changes. I mean, I know archive changes can be exciting as well, but rarity changes, that's the big one. Which things do you have to fuse now while it's still worth it before it moves down, or which things do you have to upgrade now before it moves up? So let's look at this. New cars here, okay, a lot of new cars, exciting, exciting, correction, priority changes, over here, okay. So we have one going up, okay, that doesn't really matter, and we have one that kind of matters going down, it's more worth fusing now than it is, but it's not a huge difference. Okay, so nothing exciting, no ultra rare and above, I would say, They're like, legendary epics, those are always exciting. I have two upgraded legendaries just because, well, they were epics and I maxed them out, so... But nothing this time, nothing you have, you don't have to speed out and spend all your gold on fusing or something, on quick fusing or something, just nice to know, nice to know. And lastly here we have just Hutch explaining that, of course, they've been so happy, uh, 
they've been happy for the community helping with ensuring what cars needed corrections where where and to saying that de and staying dedicated to be this to saying that <laughs> and staying dedicated to this being a simulator and trying to emulate life as the best as they could but some cars they couldn't change because they were thinking it was going to be too disruptive now so there will be some ultra retro epic and other white and reverse updates later those are the exciting ones those are the ones you want to keep out for want to look out for because that could really save you some if you either you know kept the cars sold them later use them now upgrade them now all that stuff i will cover that when that becomes relevant but but yeah putting it out that will be a thing in the future and then lastly you had to say something about they'll have to delete some cars because they just were too inconsistent and then we'll replace them with something similar similar I'm just thinking, what if you have that car? Do you just like get the cash for it? Do you just lose the car? What's the deal there? I guess we'll have hard stands. I guess we'll have hard chance of that later. But for now, I'm just happy you wanted to keep a, to have a look at me. <coughs> I'm just happy you wanted to have a look at the new update with me. I hope it's coming out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and. When the update drops, I will have a million to spend right away, just opening as many packs as a million will give me. And then a bit later, just a few days later, I'll have another million for you guys to spend as well, just giving some more, just getting some more of the new cars. And why not? Let's just open all the carbon fibers in relation to the updates as well. Let's spend all the gold that that gold that adds. Let's add more. Let's just get some great big pack openings out there. I hope you want to subscribe for that. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.